guys. So I'm gonna be、um, reciting and explaining to y'all a poem about leisure, which is a very great topic and it's very important in life. Cause you know, it is important in life to like make time for relaxing and enjoyment. Cause life sometimes gets busy, but you know, too much. Um, too much things that's making you really stressed out. It sucks, and it can make you depressed. So I'm gonna be reading to y'all the poem. Here I go. What is this life full of care? We have no time to stand and stare. No time to stand beneath the boughs and stare as long as sheep and. Sorry, and stand as long as sheep or cows. Like you know, you just stand there. Like no time to see when woods we pass, when squirrels hide their nuts in grass. No time to see in broad daylight, streams of stars like skies at night. So. I'm gonna rephrase this poem my own way, so that means like life isn't worth just standing there and doing nothing, or else it's gonna be boring. Like, like don't just live passively. Like, life is out there to enjoy. This world is given to us. It's like a God gifted thing to us for us to enjoy nature, not just do nothing simply. And there's no time to stand beneath the boughs and stare as long as sheep or cows. Like, like don't just remain passive and just live life like it's on pause. Like you know, life is out there to just go out and do something. Life is out there to enjoy it. Like don't just don't just be passive about your surroundings. Like you know, go ahead and do something productive. There are lots of things out there to do to enjoy life. Like life is out there for a reason for y'all. No times to see, no time to see when woods we pass, when squirrels hide their nuts in grass. So that means like, like you don't want to miss out on squirrels carrying their nuts. Like you know, once they hide their the nuts in the grass, you won't be able to see it in the woods, and. And plus, like it's also great to like explore nature and go out in the woods, and like you know, there could be lots of things there. Like, no time to turn at beauty's glance and watch her feet how they can dance. Like, like there, like this is like if you get too busy in life, you are going to miss out on beauty, and like the beauty of the world. So you don't want to miss out on such a blessed and amazing thing in life. No time to wait till her mouth can enrich that smile her eyes began. Like you know, don't just wait for it to happen. Like you know, actively go out there and discover it. A poor life, this is full of care. We have no time to stand and stare. So we are given this life to care about. So don't just. Don't just waste it by doing, as as I keep saying again, doing nothing. Like you know, don't just stand and stare, just watch the time pass by, or else your life is going to feel meaningless. So yeah, so when you um engage yourself and get occupied with something that you enjoy doing, you will understand that that life is worth living. So now I'm gonna talk about the writer of this poem. His name is William Henry Davies, from eighteen seventy one to nineteen forty. He was born in the U K at Newport. When he went to school, he discovered a liking for poetry. So, like, he developed interest for poetry. He became an apprentice picture framer, but he. But he no longer became interested in that, so he gave that up, and and went to like try something in America. So then, oh, so in America he became a traveler by riding freight cars. 
working in the fruit fields and narrowly escaping with his life after an attack of malaria and an assault by armed robbers. Like, you know, he he experienced different things in America, just like I um talked in the poem that life is out there to do something. He at least did something in America. So eventually he wrote many enjoyable great poems. Leisure is probably the best one remembered out of all. Thanks for watching.